Hey guys, there was a way to get the new Iron Banner weapons early. A few seasons ago, and currently present on the Iron Banner guide, it says that all Iron Banner bounties will be removed on Season Reset. However, that is not the case. I remember when Bungie said that milestones would disappear on Season Reset, but they didn't. And oh yeah, that Gambit bounties would cap your rewards. But that isn't the case either. Saved Gambit bounties still gave you powerful rewards when you rank up your infamy. Not to mention the whole, when should I dismantle my old mods fiasco. They scrapped the idea of trading them in, so they said after the season reset, you will get gunsmith materials when dismantling old weapon mods. And you don't. You get legendary shards. And then there are things like fragmented souls that they said that would be removed after Halloween. They removed them from players' inventories, but they didn't remove them from players' vaults. Moral of the story, don't believe everything they tell you. All those people that turned in Gambit bounties because of Bungie's scare tactic lost out on powerful rewards. Turning in these leftover Iron Banner bounties dropped the new season loot, including Shining Sphere and Ganora's Axe with random rolls. A few people contacted me about this, and Antony Ahu gave me some footage. These weapons are year two versions of previous weapons. So if you've had them before, you can pick up the year one versions. The new axe doesn't have as much range because of the barrel options, but now it has Outlaw and Year 2 mods. Shining Sphere is an arc rocket launcher and we desperately need more of those. This is the first 20 RPM arc rocket launcher in Year 2. All of your old Iron Burdens and Wolf's Favors are still in your inventory. They can be dismantled for Iron Banner tokens. Although doubtful, I'm still going to see if I can use them this Iron Banner. The Iron Banner now has a 5 step quest. At the end, you get the curated Ganora's Axe. The Iron Banner armor will also be unlocked upon completing each quest step. These armor pieces will be powerful rewards on each quest step completion. After unlocking the armor, it will also be available with random rolls through Iron Banner packages and match completions. This new armor is compatible with old Year 1 Iron Banner ornaments. Iron Banner armor now has a chance for enhanced perks as well. There are also exclusive Shaders, Emblem, and Sparrow for this season. There are still Iron Banner bounties that grant rewards and tokens, but they do not unlock the armor. Valor rank is also increased this week. I highly suggest getting at least one Valor reset for an upcoming event requirement. What are the steps to this quest? Most of these steps are counted as a team. I assume that means everyone in your fire team, however that may count everyone on your match made team. It's a 5 step quest, but it sounds like you can work on all the quest steps at the same time, like bounties. I hope I'm not wrong about that. As a team, earn points by defeating enemy guardians, 600 points required. Then go to Saladin and pick up your armor piece. As a team, earn points by capturing zones and earning power plays. The more teammates capturing a zone, the more points earned. As a team, earn points by defeating guardians with supers. But it looks like super blows are worth 200, melee kills are worth 100, and grenade kills are worth 150. As a team, earn points by defeating guardians using auto rifles, fusion rifles, scout rifles, sniper rifles, and swords. Scout, auto, and fusion rifles give 160 points, sniper rifles award 50 points, and sword kills offer 40 points. You might see a lot of 1k voices to less still loaded question in a rental FR4s. And lastly, as a team, complete Iron Banner matches. Win streaks are worth more points. You need a total of 50 points. After completing all of the steps, you get the curated Ganora's Axe. It's also something to note that the Wizen Rebuke Fusion Rifle is now available to everyone with random rolls through Iron Banner packages. Now that the Iron Burden has gone away, those triumphs are no longer available, but the fusion can still be obtained with random rolls for all Guardians. Cheese forever, Guardian!